Hi everybody. All right, uh, this one's going to be brief because it's late and um, I'm still in some pain. And, uh, well, this is hospital story part three. In brief, uh, I finally got to my doctor, to the urologist, uh, Dr. Christopher Reese. I say his name because he's a wonderful man. He was uh, very respectful, especially considering that these guys apparently don't deal with uh, too many transgenders. And in fact, um, he determined that yes, it was an infection. No, it was not the infection they said it was. He's giving me, you know, it's probably going to take a month to clear up, a week or so of pain, maybe a little longer. And then, you know, I've got to stay on uh, antibiotics and for something like, oh my, like a month. Hopefully, I won't, I will be able to get to, you know, a little burlesque show thing I'm doing, the organ grinder's ball, because if I miss any more practices, I'm out. Honestly, I don't care if I'm in agony, I'm going to do it. That's beside the point. Uh, so, you know, all things considered, uh, it ended decently. And there is one huge thing that could come out of this that, in a lot of ways, makes up for aspects of this. Because even if I can't uh, press charges because I can't find a lawyer that will take it or anything, I have this. Uh, I talked with my, the urologist about, well, being a transgender and having, being pre-op, transgender female and pre-op, and how I really believe that uh, the boys, yes, my, I hate that word, testicles, are a huge problem towards both my physical and mental health. He agreed completely. Last thing I expected. He honestly felt that, like, after I explained to him how many times I've been, hor you know, the effect of the hormones and everything, he absolutely said, yeah, I can totally see. It's about time to get rid of that. That should not be, you know, you need to have something done. If I can get myself a primary care physician, and uh, I think I know who I want, because he would be completely uh, sympathetic to this. The urologist will send a letter uh, recommend, you know, telling them that it is medically necessary for me to, uh, well, it's called an orchidectomy, which would mean they remove the boys. That's big. I mean, that's a major possibility. It really puts a, it, you know, the idea that I won't have to live another year. Uh, with the you know that part of that the def defect that produces all these uh, unwanted hormones that I have to block, and it would just make my life a lot easier. And so, no matter what happens, this end is is it seems to be ending quite well for me. And uh, well, that's it. I wanted to report that. Uh, you know, the hospital story is reaching its end, and uh, to my surprise, it's ending not in, hey, you're better, It's and it might be ending in, hey, here's another step on your way to womanhood. Physical womanhood. Alright, well that was it. It's very late. Hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. It would be nice. And I uh, love you all. Bye.